Welcome back to Lost Louisiana Endangered Sites. I'm your host, Charlie Winham. We now head to northern Louisiana and into Franklin Parish. Times Picayune writer Bill Campbell once wrote about Baskin, Louisiana, that traveling by car, it's three unremarkable seconds along Highway 15 in the middle of the Delta Desert. But if you slow down a bit and get to know Baskin better, as Mr. Campbell did, you'll find out that there are many wonderful stories coming out of this small rural community. Most of those stories seem to center around the old Baskin High School, a historic facility that has seen better days. The old Baskin High School was built in 1926 at a cost of $66,000. Almost 80 years old, this building has been a community focal point since its construction. Listed on the National Register of Historical Places in 1981, Old Baskin High stores many of its memories well, even though it was closed in the late 90s. When did Baskin close? In 1997. Was that a sad day? It was. A sad year? A sad year. It was a sad year all over the parish. At that time, we had eight high schools. And then with the consolidation, we consolidated down to three high schools. And then after that, we went to two high schools, and now this is our first year's having one high school. My daughter taught here until they closed the high school. And my husband and I gra both graduated in the same class together. I married the principal's oldest son. So, yes, I would love to see this building remain. I think we are losing a lot when we lose our old structures in more ways than one. Well, to me it's important because it's one of the main things about Baskin that's been here. It's always been here. And it's, um, it's one of the things that bring the people together, the memories that you have of Baskin, the, people that have lived here all their lives, they, this is where their memories started. And th this, is, this is just the center of Baskin to me. I got interested in this building. Matter of fact, I fell in love with it when I first started working here. And my family, my husband's family went to school here. And uh, so it just kind of became very special to me. This um, auditorium for being built in 1926 is still in remarkable condition. It is, and it's never had any major uh, renovation. Just a paint job and uh, a little bit, you know, but it's, and the acoustics are so good in here. We've had professional people come and talk about the acoustics being so good in this auditorium. Kitty Wells, the Wilburn Brothers, and many other Grand Ole Opry stars performed here. Even Huey P. Long and his entire ticket held a political rally inside this grand auditorium. Every graduate of Baskin High School received their diploma here, except for the class of 1927, the year of the catastrophic flood. Baskin High School is also the home of the nation's longest winning streak. For six years, from 1947 to 1953, the girls' basketball team never lost a game. Under the guidance of National Hall of Fame coach Miss Willie Edna Tarbutton, the Baskin Lady Rams won 218 consecutive games. That mark still stands today as a national record for organized sports, high school, college, or professional. Even Ripley's Believe It or Not makes note of the Baskin High School Lady's success. We had five minutes from the time the bell rang in this building to get from here go through that door, down the gym floor, to the dressing room and be dressed out on the court, warming up. It occurred at a time that many of us did not have a whole lot. There wasn't a lot of entertainment for you to go to. And of course, we concentrated on basketball. It's hard to imagine what we actually accomplished because when we were rolling up those victories, my years here, it didn't occur to us that basically we were setting a history that probably never would be broken. Due to overcrowding at the junior high school, three rooms, including Coach Tarbutton's classroom, were reopened this year. Perhaps the winning spirit of Tiny Tarbutton, created over 50 years ago, can pull out a victory for this old high school in the waning moments. For that to happen, it will take many people to come off the bench and make a contribution. We're really, you know, trying to get as much support as we possibly can. And I know the alums come every five years and they have such a good time here. Um, and 
I think they, you know, they, they've really been wanting to get the building restored because there's so, like I say, there's so many good memories here.